It's a new day for Illinois. You're looking live inside the inauguration ceremony for Governor-elect J.B. Pritzker. The 90-minute program is taking place in Springfield. Pritzker will take the oath of office sharply at noon. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely is standing by live in Springfield where J.B. Pritzker will accept the transfer of power from outgoing Republican Governor Bruce Rauner. Derek, what a party out there. Yeah, and the party's just beginning. Actually, the party's been going on all weekend, but now we're inside the Bank of Springfield Convention Center where about 7,000 invited guests, public officials, and yes, ordinary citizens are expected in just a few minutes to witness the swearing in of Illinois' 43rd governor, J.B. Pritzker. Now, the gates opened about 9 a.m. here while J.B. Pritzker was still attending a morning interface service at First Presbyterian Church in Springfield. Scores of eager spectators, mostly Democrats, of course, rushed in, enthusiastic about the change they hope Pritzker will bring. But a top lieutenant to House Speaker Mike Madigan and a longtime government activist and watchdog had more sober evaluations about the challenges Pritzker faces. You know, we have a pretty large hole we're going to have to fill, and I don't think you know, any one method is going to solve it all. We have to be more efficient. We have to trim back waste. We have to look for uh, things that we're doing that we can do better, and we're going to have to, frankly, look, some more uh, look for some more revenue. What do you think uh, this change of administration means for the citizens and the taxpayers of Illinois? Well, first and foremost, functional government. That's something Illinois hasn't had for years. I mean, even under Rod Bogoyevich and Pat Quinn, there were a lot of battles between the General Assembly and the governor's office. I think that were unnecessary and counterproductive. And I think J.B. Pritzker has shown, look, he gets he's got to work with legislators to have an agenda move forward. And, of course, J.B. Pritzker isn't the only one taking the oath of office today. His running mate, Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton, along with Attorney General Kwame Raoul, Secretary of State Jesse White, Treasurer Mike Friedrichs, and Controller Susanna Mendoza, all Democrats, will also be sworn in. And tonight, the attention uh, shifts to the glittering inauguration ball to be held over at the state fairgrounds where curiosity is being piqued by rumors of a surprise musical guest. Administration spokespersons say they can't even discuss any of the musical entertainment, so we're looking for a big surprise there later tonight. Mike and Aaron.